I think one thing that really affected me was when I was 11. Um, I saw Kurt Cobain singing Heart Shaped Box on MTV. I saw like the video for it. That was something that really struck me. I think when I was younger I knew I wanted to be a singer, but we didn't really know anyone who was a real singer. So I sort of planned on having a more normal life, just doing something else. And then when I was 18, I moved to um, New York and just started singing at the open mic nights and playing shows down in Williamsburg. My musical influences have stayed the same for a long time. I really like Nirvana. I love Frank Sinatra, Elvis, Bob Dylan, and, you know, like Eminem. I, just, I like all the greats from every genre, just the masters of every genre. I was working with a composer named Justin Parker, and he said that he had a couple of chords that reminded him of me. And so when I heard them, I just um, felt inspired to write about I don't know, they're just the same theme that I had been writing about for a while, which was um, just about this guy I had been seeing and the way our relationship was at the time. Um, you know, it was just a time in my life when I had let go of my own personal career ambitions and just enjoyed being with him at home when he'd come home from work and play video games, and I would write while I watched him, so... I think when I wrote that song, I was just reflecting on, like, the sweetness of it, but also the fact that there was something else I was longing for at the same time. It's a five-minute and 20-second love ballad. There are no drums in it. Um, I mean, it's... And, like, thematically, it it's, feels personal to me, so I wouldn't have thought that that would be the song that people responded to. Although, it's a gift for someone like me because... Um, like, melodically and thematically, it is a perfect representation of me, so it's nice. I've just been making, like, moving collages online since I was 17. It's just a passion of mine, other than singing. Video games was just one of many, and, um, but for some reason, I think, because the vocal was so clear, um, people just really, um responded to it. Image is important, but I mean, I'm a writer first. I've been a writer since I was very young, and I'm a singer second. Then, you know, the editing and the visuals and the photographs and the movies, those come after. I feel like video games and Blue Jeans and Born to Die are all like sort of part of a trilogy. I had met this guy and I was really struck by him visually. and. Um, when it became clear that we couldn't be together anymore, um, I just knew in my heart that I would still like honor that relationship for a long time. You know, it was just more about like living in the memories of the best of the past, and um, yeah, just honoring that time. And that's sort of what um, video games and Born to Die is about as well. <laughs>